In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the long-term debt-to-equity ratio as well as the debt-to-equity ratio. And we're going to do this through an example problem. Number one, a company has $12 billion in long-term debt and $15 billion in total debt. The company has $60 billion in shareholder equity. Part A, calculate the long-term debt-to-equity ratio. So the long-term debt to equity ratio is going to be the long-term debt divided by the equity. So this company has $12 billion in long-term debt. The shareholder equity is $60 billion. So it's 12 divided by 60 and that comes out to be 0.20. So that is the long-term debt to equity ratio. When that number is less than one, that's a good thing. If the number is greater than one, it indicates that the company has a lot of debt. Now let's move on to part B. So let's calculate the debt to equity ratio. So this is going to be the debt divided by the equity in the company. So the total debt in this company is $15 billion. The equity is $60 billion. So it's going to be 15 divided by 60, which is 0.25. So keep in mind. Anytime the debt to equity ratio, if it's less than one, this is also true for the long-term debt to equity ratio. That means that the company is doing okay or it's doing good. If the debt to equity ratio is high, let's say if it's significantly above one, well, that's a bad thing. It indicates that the company has a lot of debt. So that's how you would use these ratios when evaluating a company from a fundamental perspective. Now let's move on to number two. Company ABC has $800 million in total assets and $300 million in total liabilities. It has $100 million in long-term debt and $150 million in total debt. By the way, if you want to try this problem, feel free to do so. Uh, pause the video and uh, work on uh, these examples. And then you can play the video when you're ready to see the solution. But let's start with part A. Calculate the shareholder equity. The shareholder equity, or we can just write equity, is the difference between the total assets in the company minus the total liabilities. So in this example problem, the company has 800 million in total assets, and it has 300 million in total liabilities. So the shareholder equity for this company is going to be 500 million. Now let's move on to part B. What is the long-term debt to equity ratio? So like the previous problem, the formula is going to be the same. It's going to be the long-term debt divided by the shareholder equity, and that's it. So this company has $100 million in long-term debt. The equity in this company is $500 million. So it's going to be 100 divided by 500, which is 0.20. So that's the long-term debt to equity ratio for this company. Now let's move on to part C. Let's calculate the debt to equity ratio. So as we said before, this is the debt divided by the shareholder equity, or rather more specifically, the total debt that the company has. So the company has a total debt of 150 million. The equity is still 500 million. 
And so we just got to divide those two numbers. 150 divided by 500, that's 0 0.30. So that is the debt to equity ratio for this company. Now let's move on to the next problem. Number three, a company has 1 billion in net income and a ROE of 10%. That is a return of equity or a return on equity of 10%. The long-term debt to equity ratio and the total debt to equity ratio are 0.20 and 0.30 respectively. Part A, how much shareholder equity is present with this company? What would you say? How do we find the answer to that question? Well, we need to understand the formula to calculate the ROE. So the return on equity is the net income divided by the equity that's in the company, that is the shareholder equity, times 100%. So if you rearrange the equation to isolate the equity, the equity, which I'm going to write as E, is the net income divided by the return on equity in its decimal form. If you plug it in as a percentage, you need to divide the ROE by 100% to put it in its decimal form. I'm going to use this version of the equation. So the shareholder equity, as we said before, is the net income over the return on equity. So this company has a net income of 1 billion. The ROE is 10%. 10% divided by 100 is 0.10 as a decimal. So if we take 1 and divide it by 0.10, it gives us 10. So the shareholder equity in this company is 10 billion. And that's the answer to part A. Now let's move on to part B. What is the company's long-term debt value? So we're given the long-term debt to equity ratio. We need to use that to calculate the company's long-term debt. So Here's the formula for the long-term debt to equity ratio. It's the long-term debt divided by the equity. We need to calculate this part of the equation. It turns out that the long-term debt is equal to the long-term debt to equity ratio times the shareholder equity. That's how we can calculate it. If you cross multiply, you get one times the long-term debt, and that's equal to the long-term debt equity ratio times the equity. And so that's how you can get that formula. So the long-term debt to equity ratio is 0.20. And the shareholder equity in this company is 10 billion. So it's 0.20 times 10 billion, and that gives us 2 billion as an answer. So that's how much long-term debt this company has. Now let's move on to part C. Calculate the total debt this company owes. So let's start with the debt to equity ratio. We know that's the total debt divided by the equity. Now, if you cross multiply, this is one times the debt that equals the debt to equity ratio times the equity. So we could say that the total debt is equal to the debt to equity ratio times the shareholder equity. So let's write TD to represent total debt. So the debt to equity ratio in this example is 0.30. And the shareholder equity is still the same. That's 10 billion. So multiplying these two numbers, we're going to get, let's see, 0.30 times 10. And so that's going to be 3 billion. So this company has 3 billion in total debt, 2 billion in long-term debt, and 10 billion in shareholder equity. 
So that's it for this video. So now you know how to calculate the debt to equity ratio, the long term debt to equity ratio. You also know how to calculate the shareholder equity two ways. It's total assets minus total liabilities or the net income over the equity. I mean, I take that back, the net income over the return on equity. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.